DWTS host Alfonso Ribeiro gets injured and vomits during taping of Holiday Special, leaves it on wheelchair. Alfonso Ribeiro, co-host of Dancing with the Stars, was forced to cut short his dance number at Disney World after a mishap happened and caused him an injury. Dancing with the Stars. Season 33 nears its conclusion with just a few episodes remaining before the crowning of the Mirror Ball Trophy winner. Unfortunately, beloved host Alfonso Ribeiro suffered an ankle injury during the taping of an upcoming holiday special. The 53-year-old star got injury while filming a dance number at Walt Disney World. According to TMZ, Ribeiro rolled his ankle after stepping on one of the trolley rails that run through Magic Kingdom's Main Street, USA, unfortunately led to Ribeiro's mishap. Captured on video, the incident shows Ribeiro leaning heavily on his Dancing with the Stars. Co-host Julianne Howe, unable to put weight on his injured ankle. A production team member quickly brought a chair for him to sit down, but not before he appeared to be in significant pain and even vomited in a nearby trash can. He was then moved to a wheelchair and wheeled away to encouraging applause from the crowd. Despite the alarming scene, sources have confirmed that Ribeiro's injury is minor. After some initial treatment and rest, he is expected to make a return to filming, though it remains unclear if he will be dancing again for the special. Fans can rest assured that the Thanksgiving and Christmas Day special episodes featuring the incident will air as planned in late 2024. Ribeiro is also set to be part of the Milestone 500th episode of Dancing with the Stars, scheduled for November 12th. Although it is not certain whether he will be dancing, he has committed to participating in the installment. The injury incident took place amidst a competitive season of Dancing with the Stars. Joey Graciade and Jenna Johnson have been leading with a three-week winning streak but they faced tough competition from Danny Amendola and Whitney Carson, as well as Brandon Armstrong and Chandler Kinney. As the series approaches its season 33 finale, the drama and intensity continue to build. In spite of the unfortunate accident, Ribeiro's spirit and dedication to the show remain unshaken. Fans are eagerly anticipating the upcoming specials and the landmark 500th episode, hopeful for Ribeiro's speedy recovery and return to the dance floor. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air fans got a major treat when the original cast of the iconic 90s comedy series came together for an HBO special to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the show. The special had all of the original cast members, except for the patriarch of the family, James Avery, who died in 2013, return to the Banks family's Bel-Air living room to reflect on the series. The cast candidly spoke about how much fun they had taping in front of a live audience, how they landed their roles, and reminisced about their experiences with the late Avery per billboard. Luckily for fans, a joyful look back at the series isn't all they are getting. In the age of reboots and reunions, it's no surprise that The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is slated to return to television screens. The reboot, named Bel Air has been in the works for more than a year, according to The Hollywood Reporter. It is based on superfan Morgan Cooper's viral YouTube trailer that reworked the comedy series into a drama. According to Peacock, which has ordered two seasons of the series, per Express, the reimagined show will be set in modern day America and is loosely based on Will's complicated journey from the streets of West Philadelphia to the gated mansions of Bel Air, per a press release obtained by CNN. Original cast member Alfonso Ribeiro has now given fans insight into what the show will really be like, and apparently it's quite different. First and foremost, Alfonso Ribeiro, who played Will's cousin Carlton and is known for his Carlton dance, wants fans to know Bel Air is not a reboot and will be much different from the original Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I like to call it as reimagining, he said on the Just The Sit podcast on April 7, 2021. We sometimes throw a lot of things into one word, one concept. A reboot would be taking the actual show and characters and bringing it back. This is a totally different show. It's not even based on the show. It's based on the theme song, he continued, confirming that Bel Air is a completely different series. It's drama. It's not comedy. I have nothing to do with it, so I don't really know anything more. 
but I actually appreciate it even more than a reboot. Let's take a concept and turn it into a different show. The press statement from Peacock noted that the reimagined show will dive deeper into the inherent conflicts, emotions, and biases that were impossible to fully explore in a 30-minute sitcom format while still delivering swagger and nods to the original show. Fans will have to wait and see for themselves how different the new The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air really is. You could say that The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which premiered on NBC in 1990, was Will Smith's playground. Not only did Smith lend his name to the lead character, but his comedic timing was a breath of fresh air for the half-hour comedy. However, The Fresh Prince also benefited from its talented supporting cast. For example, the late James Avery, who played Uncle Phil, countered Smith's rebellious spirit. On the other hand, Tatiana Ali and Karen Parsons, Smith's on-screen cousins, helped to cultivate his sensitive side. And despite the messy feud brewing between the co-stars, Janet Hubert, who portrayed the original Aunt Viv, helped hone Smith's intellectual qualities. With that said, Alfonso Ribeiro's contribution as Carlton Banks Smith's geeky, socially awkward cousin was invaluable to the show's success. During early seasons, Ribeiro served as Smith's foil, often ratting him out before he could enact his mischievous plans. Later, the cousins became best friends who often got into various hijinks together, although their inherent differences still set the stage for lots of laughs. Eventually, Ribeiro's character rivaled Smith's in popularity, partly thanks to his signature dance. In any case, the on-screen chemistry between Smith and Ribeiro was absolutely palpable. But what about off-screen? Fret not. Will Smith and Alfonso Ribeiro are just as close in their private lives as they are on set. Not only have the pair kept in touch since Fresh Prince went off-air in 1996, but they've been rather gracious in sharing their friendship with fans. Ribeiro, for his part, has proven himself to be a loyal friend to Smith, often supporting him amid his various controversies, including the backlash against his Aladdin performance and his infamous Oscars debacle. According to Ribeiro, Smith has certainly reciprocated. During an appearance on Sway in the Morning, Ribeiro spoke highly of his friendship with Smith. After denouncing critics who felt Smith hadn't done enough to help the Fresh Prince cast advance their careers, Ribeiro offered a different perspective. Will Smith has helped me in many ways beyond what we have seen on camera, shared Ribeiro, but he has supported me in ways beyond anybody could understand. In addition to supporting each other throughout their three-decade friendship, they've also managed to have fun, such as the time that they appeared on The Graham Norton Show, treating the audience to a lively performance of the Fresh Prince theme song and the Jump On It dance. While it's clear that Will Smith and Alfonso Ribeiro are super close. The entire Fresh Prince cast share a special bond. In 2020, ahead of the show's 30th anniversary special, Ribeiro addressed fans' excitement at seeing the cast back together again. At the end of the day, I know everyone always likes to make whenever we get together a big moment, said Ribeiro to Cinema Blend. I look at it very simply as we always get together. We constantly chat. We're family. It'll be interesting and fun. I think it's going to be a great special, but for us, it was the same as how we always get together. It appears familiarity is the reason Ribeiro probably didn't read Smith's memoir. For many, many, many years, people speculated about the Smith family, said Ribeiro to people. They are laying it out there in a way that is their truth. I don't know if I'll read the book because I know the people he added. It's been nearly 30 years since the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air flipped turned the world of sitcoms upside down. It was so beloved that the NBC series never once moved from its Monday at 8 p.m. slot during its entire six-year run. Sadly, the cast made the uniform decision to end the show, which launched Will Smith's acting career and became indirectly responsible for the national treasure that is Wild Wild West in 1996. We felt like it was time, Smith told the Los Angeles Times. We've all grown as actors and as people, we had an incredibly talented cast, but the show is just limiting. The infamous theme song was infected in the brains of older millennials, 
or will ennials if you prefer, like a virus since birth. Go into any bar these days and utter the words, in West Philadelphia, born and raised, and it's safe to say someone will chime in to finish the rest. While Smith has since adopted darker roles like Jeannie in the 2019 live action adaptation of Aladdin, or more seriously, playing the lead in 2006's The Pursuit of Happiness, he might have actually gotten some good training in drama on the set of his hit TV show. Truth be told, the cast members of Fresh Prince were hiding some pretty dark secrets. Will Smith was not chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool when he signed on as the lead in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The 90s show star was actually resting on some pretty serious IRS debt from his career as a rapper alongside DJ Jazzy Jeff. In a 2018 episode of YouTube Storytime, the actor admitted that he'd spent all of his money on exorbitant purchases like expensive cars and fancy clothes after the duo's album, He's the DJ, I'm the Rapper, went triple platinum and earned a Grammy. Unfortunately, Smith neglected to pay his taxes at the time and owed the IRS a whopping $2.8 million. However, his follow-up effort didn't really help bolster his meager bank account. We released our next album and it was like a flop. It was a tragedy. It went like double plastic, the actor rapper said. I had spent most of my money, like all of, I spent all my money and I didn't forget, but I didn't pay the IRS. Fortunately, a random opportunity fell into Smith's lap when he met Fresh Prince producer Benny Medina while hanging out on the set of the Arsenio Hall show and later had an impromptu audition during a party at Quincy Jones's house. Smith, of course, landed the lead, but the IRS took 70% of his Fresh Prince paycheck for the next three years. Aunt Vivian, who served as the Fresh Prince's beloved sympathetic matriarch, is a woman of many faces. Two faces, to be exact. Janet Hubert played the role during the sitcom's first three seasons, but was fired in 1993 and replaced by actress Daphne Maxwell Reed. However, it apparently had less to do with the star's rumored onset feuds and more to do with a dispute with network executives who reportedly had some sort of vendetta against her, per Hubert's interview with E. Jet at the time. Years later, the actress opened up to the griot about the real reason she was recast, claiming NBC was unwilling to negotiate her ultra-restrictive contract. It was a negotiation that should have come back like most do, Hubert said in 2013. We were a very successful show, and I felt like I was an integral part of that and felt valuable, but you cannot feel valuable in Hollywood. Nonetheless, Hubert still sued the network, and Will Smith for allegedly creating a hostile work environment during her pregnancy, according to the New York Daily News. This led to long-running rumors that NBC fired Hubert because she got knocked up. If that were the case, why would they have written her pregnancy into her final season with the show? 